Welcome from Wall Street, where the S&P 500 has set yet another all-time closing high. I'm getting a little bored of saying that, although at least the rate of increase is slowing. Really, most of the action today was not in the U.S. It was in Japan, where the yen has dropped to 117 against the dollar for the first time since the summer of 2007. That was because of genuinely awful and genuinely unexpected economic numbers showing a further contraction in the third quarter. Everybody knew because of the uh, effects of the consumption tax that came in uh, at the end of March that, that we would get a contraction in the second quarter. The third quarter is a genuine surprise. It's the first real gauge of how that tax rise has uh, affected the economy and it's not pretty. Hence the fall in the yen and also today the uh, quite a bad day for the Japanese stock market. What we are expecting for Tuesday is the calling of a staff election by Prime Minister Abe. Intriguingly, it is causing remarkably little concern. I can perhaps explain it to you with this chart here. Uh, if you look at how the topics, the measure of the Japanese stock market has done uh, in dollar terms since Abe got in, it's really not done as well as the S&P. But there is an extremely popular strategy which you could call hedging or you could call a doubling down of a bet where people sell short the yen and use the profits to uh, to uh, invest in uh, in Japanese stocks uh, providing the relationship whereby a, an ever weaker yen means ever stronger uh, share prices this works very well indeed there are now forecasts that the yen could get to 140 and that this will continue to help uh, the price of uh, exporters and so even though this is a very alarming development, it suggests that this very aggressive and very daring policy of abenomics really isn't working so far. It is not causing concern beyond Japan. Outside of Japan, there is also going to be potentially a very interesting day in Europe. In the UK, we get CPI numbers. Uh, UK inflation, unlike the rest of the developed world, did have a period of more than two years camped above the 3% maximum band for inflation. The last time out, however, it had dropped to 1.2%, getting close to the lower band. If you see a further fall uh, in inflation, then that would further uh, convince people that uh, the Bank of England is not, after all, going to be raising rates ahead of the Fed. Then also in Germany, we have the ZU uh, manufacturing survey. It's not the most widely followed of data, but it's still very interesting. It went negative in terms of future expectations last month. That was what contributed to the uh, very ugly events we saw in the uh, bond market. So that will also be of great interest. But the bottom line, as far as people here on Wall Street are concerned, is whatever I've been able to tell you about ructions and alarm outside of the US, here in the US, the stock market is at an all-time high.